Hello, welcome back. This is James D. Jones, and um, I got asked a couple times to show how to download, install, set up, and use Betacoin Wallet. And there's a few small tricky things about Betacoin Wallet, or actually just one that I wish that they would uh, clarify exactly how to use. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right back in, and we're gonna go to Betacoin.org. I'll send you a link. It'll be the first link in the description and you go and click download now there's a whole bunch of you know source code windows installer it's kind of confusing so basically let me explain it if you're using linux you're gonna download the linux binary and uh... i'm sure you know how to install things from there on if you're using mac you're gonna download the mac one if you're using windows you're gonna download that one and i'm not one hundred percent sure about what source code is um, I think that just... Uh, anyways, we're, we're going to be downloading the Windows installer. So you would just, just click that one, this this link right here, the Windows installer. And, uh, sorry, that link right there. And it'll take you to Google SkyDrive and you'll download it there. Um, once you download it, you install it. And it's going to be, uh, there's going to be a very simple and easy installer that you just literally click next, 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 next and next and it'll be finished and once you have it downloaded it'll come up and uh, this is my coin uh, beta coin wallet right here now it's already um, when you download it it's going to come up just like this except without having anything in your wallet and any transactions history so that that those two are going to be blank now once you first download it it's going to download have this little blue bar down here and it's saying that it's syncing with uh, the blockchain now what that means is every time a coin is created uh, it creates a block a history it tells you where the coin came from and where all the other coins are and all the transactions that happen you're going to have to download all that and catch up to where we are and it'll continuously download all the new blockchain as it's created which isn't really much it's not using too much of your internet at all when it's doing that so it's good to always keep this running so it's always up to date if you ever close it out and shut down the program you're gonna have to update it from the last time you had it running um, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna update uh, almost like 95 percent and then it's gonna stop and this is where a lot of people get angry and confused um, well if it stops and it will if you don't do this uh, you have to go back to this website and all the way at the very bottom which I wish they would clarify you have to copy this right here so we're going to copy it and then we have to go back to our Betacoin wallet and go to debug menu, wait no, is that it? yeah yeah debug menu we go to debug menu and then over at the top right right here there's a little console we're gonna need to click console and we're gonna need to paste that little uh, node thing that we copied and we're gonna hit enter now I've already added that node but I just added it again for the heck of it so that y'all would know and once you do that the, the, uh, the beta coin wallet will go ahead and finish updating like that and there you go as soon as it's finished updating and downloading all the the latest block history uh... you've got a fully functional beta coin wallet now how do i use a beta coin wallet you might ask well this is your overview you're on the overview page and as you can see right around here it says i'm sorry but my freaking mouse uh... doesn't really show up on the program that i'm using so every time i click it shows a little circle where it is so right here it's going to show uh, your wallet and then the confirmations and unconfirmed. I'll explain that. Whenever you send a coin through the network um, to somebody or you receive a coin from somebody, it creates a block and it has to be confirmed by multiple miners. Now, once it's confirmed four or five times, I believe, I think it's six, it has to get six confirmations before uh, it actually. Uh, is confirmed and it is in your wallet you can do whatever you need um, to with it it uh it'll be there like I have 31 coins in my wallet right now um, it takes literally almost a few seconds to finish confirming 
which is really cool. It's a lot faster than most coins out there. Um, but right now it shows my total of how many coins I have in there right now. And it shows your history. Oh, sorry. It shows the history of all the coins that I've gotten. Like I, Just last night I donated a coin to a dude that was having some trouble mining. So I told him he could have his first coin for me. But uh, and this is where I got paid. Uh, this one at the bottom is where I got paid from uh, mining at a pool. I showed a video on how to mine at that pool, actually. Um, and I've already made 32 coins from there. It was pretty cool. Now, if we go to send coins at the top, uh, this little field that says pay to is where you're going to need to copy addresses. Let me explain addresses first. Um, the top coin right here where it says no label and this big long thing that's got this code there, that's your address. That's your receiving address because we're on receiving right now. And then below it is tips where I have it set up on forums where people can tip me for uh, helpful information. And YouTube is where I get my tips from YouTube. So I'll know where those coins came from. Um, so if I go to my overview and somebody was to tip me from the forums, it would show up tip around here where the recent transactions are. Or if somebody sent me a tip from YouTube, it would show YouTube up here in the recent transactions. Uh, Sorry about that. And if we go to receive coins, and let's say we want to create an address like I just did um, to receive a donation or a payment. Let's say uh, somebody's going to pay me something, and I'd really like to know exactly how much coin that they sent me. Uh, I could go to new address and type in uh, someone paid me uh Let's see. Beta. B A T E coin. And uh, once I hit OK, it generates a new address. And there we go, right there. Someone paid me beta coin. Now you would give somebody that address, uh, and they would send it to you, send the coins to you. And then you could see in your overview the address, the title of the, ad the address, and the title of the address. Um, that they sent the coins to. So you can see exactly how many coins that they got. That they sent to you. Sorry, I am sick. And I'm sorry for sounding so cruddy. Um, and transactions, if you go to transactions, it shows all the transactions that happened. Now, if it's negative and in the red, that means coins went from your beta coin wallet to someone. Now, if it's just normal color, black, that means coins were received to your beta coin wallet. Um, let me see if there's anything else about the beta coin wallet. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Explaining how to download the beta coin wallet and explaining how to add the last node, which is a, you have to do that. And, uh, I explained a few things about how to send beta coins. Oh yeah, send beta coins. That's what I didn't explain. Now, if you if someone gives you an address and you need to pay them beta coins, the address is going to look something like one of these over anywhere in the address field. Uh, it's going to look like something like that. So you're going to copy that address that they gave you, and you're going to send. And let's just paste that, paste an address. Uh, we'll just copy my own address. Copy. And then we're going to paste it here into Pay2. And the label, we'll just call it YouTube or something derpy, whatever one will call it. And then we'll select the amount like 1, which is 1 beta coin. Or if you want to send a percentage of 1, you can type in 0 point and then whatever the percentage of a beta coin. It, it can be infinitely long. Like, it's such a minute amount of a coin you can be sent, like, yeah. But once you get, like, two really stupid small amounts of coins, there's small fees for the transactions. Um, they're very small fees. I think it's, like, a certain percentage of whatever you're sending. But anywho. Yeah, and then once you, once you type in the amount of coin you want to send, you just go over here and click send, and it'll send to the address. Uh, I don't really think that you can send to your own address, which that is my address up there, so I'm not going to be sending it. But 
sorry about that, randomly got cut off, um, because I'm using a free version of Bandicam, I think that's, anyways, um, you can't send to your own wallet, but you can send to any other wallet, um, you may be able to send your own wallet, I don't think you can, but I'm, I'm not really going to try, it's not that important. Anyways, I just wanted to say that that's pretty much it, guys, and uh, I hope I helped, and don't forget if you found me helpful and you enjoyed my video, uh, don't forget to like, rate, or, or like, and I don't, can you rate anymore? No, you can only like. Like the video, comment for any questions, or, or if you want to say that's a good video, I'd love to hear that that was a good video, i like to hear that it was helpful. Um, but most of all, if you really think it was helpful, you could always, um, you could always drop me a little donation. I got the, uh, my own address at the bottom, so you could just send me, I don't care if it's like a, a, a one minute percent of a coin, I'll take it. Yeah. Well, you guys have a good day, and, uh, like again, sorry I sound so horrible, and I hope I helped. If you have any questions, uh, please comment. Have a good one, guys.